This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show, Expressa. We're live on three. Well, it's time to go traveling with our newest show, Navia, on every weekend. That's on Saturdays at 7 p.m. on SABC3. In fact, one of the newest presenters there, Paulani Palmer, and Tenji takes her around her own neighborhood, Bramfontein, in Gauteng. Navjek is SABC 3's brand new Afrikaans lifestyle shows, which gives us fantastic ideas of outings and activities to do on the weekend. And of course, it's hosted by the fiery Polani Palmer, who's going to show me some of her favorite places around Bramfontein and Maboning Precinct, the heart of the city of gold. Polani Palmer hails from the tiny eastern Cape town of Magwegui. Throughout her school years, she was involved with the arts and went on to make performing her career choice before stepping into TV. Bellani, I must say, the artwork in this gallery is absolutely extraordinary. And I think it really captures a sense of Joburg, eh? It's so awesome. I love it. It really represents, like, the young and upcoming artists who don't really fit into the conventional fine arts. Um, it's called Grayscale Gallery, and they have an uh, exhibition here every month with, like, graffiti and sculptures and illustrations. It's really, really cool. I think Bramfontein has really come into its own as the cultural hub of Johannesburg. But tell me, why do you like this place so much? What attracts me is it's young and upcoming people who are really restoring the place and who are restoring our country and Joburg and making it beautiful and it makes me proud to be South African, proud to be here in Joburg, to think like the next generation of leaders are here, living here and making it beautiful for all of us to live in. Well, you're definitely a feisty and colourful character, much like the paintings in this gallery, but if you had to choose one, which one would it be and why? That one, definitely. Um, I like the, the paint that's just running down. I think it represents such a sense of freedom, but then also it's kind of structured, like the, the woman is painted with lines, and that represents to me like the, the responsibility that comes with freedom. From artworks that challenge the mind to something completely different, Pilani takes Tenji to Curiosity Backpackers. Developed for curious urbanites from all over the world, Curiosity invites visitors to explore the heart of one of Joburg's oldest suburbs by bicycle, so there's direct access to the people and happenings of the community. What's so great about doing a bike tour around Josie? Um, I think the cool thing about taking the bike tour through Joburg is Joburg has, co has gotten a name of being not safe or a dodgy place to hang out, especially the inner city. And some people live here in Johannesburg and some other places, and they never come to the city because they think it's unsafe. So the cool thing about the bike is you get to go around, see all the buildings, see all these cool places like Marbonning, um, to hang out in Joburg. And it's not that unsafe, and it's not that bad. So it's really, really cool. Absolutely. Now, talking about seeing different places, you travel quite a lot, Benaviek. What has been your favorite thing about traveling all over the country? Ooh, like, I kind of love the hotel rooms and chilling and just staying. Um, and I also love seeing the places that I haven't seen. Like, the last time I was in Durban was when I was 11, and then I went back again now for Narvik, and I was like, oh my word, like, it looks so different. Things have developed so much, um, and it's cool to, like, get to know the people now, because I was too small then to really chat to, to people. And what spot would you say is your absolute favorite? I must say, Camps Bay, oh my word, I would move there any day, like I'd move now, tell me move now, I'd go. For the Josie city dwellers who don't have the time or money to make their way to the seaside, they can head to the beach, a man-made beach hangout in the concrete jungle. Polani and Tenji stop in for a refreshment and relaxation. Polani, I must say, after that bike ride, I think this is a fantastic way to just kick back and relax. Who would have thought that Josie has a beach? I know, right? I know, exactly, it's real sand, real sand. <laughs> So it just reminds me of down there when I can't go on holiday, then I just come here and I can be on the beach. You're a bona fide city girl and I think that's quite underrated. People don't really enjoy being from the city, but what do you love most about being from the city? Definitely, I think the rush. I love that everything is fast, everyone goes, people are working, people are busy. You like the way people drive here. I don't like people driving, you know. So I like everything about it that's rush hourly and fast. To see how this city girl spends her weekends away from the hustle and bustle and finds fun and adventure all around the country, tune into Naviak every Saturday at 7 p.m. on SABC3. Die Naviak op Naviak. Pulane soek stories en shopplek op die Midlands Meehander. Lekker! Liandi probeer bijhou by Joshua na die reen. Joshua wacht! En ek doen die Franse kwantram. En Sean Marco probeer hoener braai. Gelukkig was braaimeester Bertus Masson daar om te help. Naweek, die program oor doen dinge vir jou aftuid. 7 uur, zaterdag aan.
Find it on 3.